Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It's Candy here from SweetStamper.com. And I am broadcasting live from the Drury Plaza in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, I'm a bit late tonight. Um, that's just kind of the way things ran. Today is the first day of my fall Creative Escape retreat. Some of y'all uh, have been here with me before in person as well as my broadcast. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to um, jump on and find me because I'm supposed to be here at seven. But yeah, I had to go home this afternoon and pick up some things that I had forgotten. And the traffic was horrific coming back, which threw everything behind. So, hey, Jackie, I'm glad you're here. So I'm out in this little lobby here, and this is a great spot that this Drury um, has some unique features, which is why I host my retreats here. So we have all of this really nice private lobby space outside of our crafting space. So this is a great spot for people who want to have, you know, if they want to pack a lunch or if they want to enjoy some pizza out here, or sometimes people are in the middle of it, they have to have a Zoom meeting with work and they still want to come to retreat. So they, we just make it happen, you know? And there's places out here to have, you know, if you need to connect with your family, have private conversations, there's a great space here to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera. We're gonna do a little tour of Creative Escape Fall Retreat, and then I'm gonna stamp with you. And we are going to be using the Warm Welcome Bundle. I do have a prize to give away tonight because I did promise you throughout November, I'm gonna be giving away a prize at every single, um, every single Facebook Live, and it's based on people who shared from the previous week. So let me go ahead and turn the camera. Here we go. Now you can see how we come in the door. Now, here we go. So this is our awesome, awesome space. You can see that we have really nice high ceilings, lots of space. It feels really, really bright. Um, all those windows back there, of course it's nighttime, but we have great natural light during the day. And all of this beautiful fall decor we have is um, from one of my helpers, Elaine. She just, I call it, she Elaine's the room. So she takes all kinds of pretty things and makes it look special. This was actually a, uh, I don't know if you, any of y'all remember when we used to have these banner things. I did a class like probably six years ago. I have the same fall banner that I hold, uh, that I still hang at my fireplace. And this was a very old um, witch's hat kit. And so some of these are really old kits that we put together. And you know, the home decor, it keeps lasting. So let me just kind of take you on a little visual tour here. So you can see our inspiration station here. We've got lots of visuals. We have my scraps is your scraps over here. So these scraps are all filed. So my retreat co-host is Cheryl Peary and she brings her scraps. Look at that, how nicely they're all color, uh, they're all divided by color. And people can just come over here if they need a little piece of something, it's there. We also have some designer series paper scraps. Um, these are all just kind of um, swaps, card class cards, um, samples to inspire people while they're here at the, um, at the cutting station or if they're doing some um, scoring. Here again is, this was a beautiful, beautiful, um, this was one of those um, trays, what are they called? Some kind of a tray. Uh, these were really popular a number of years ago in Stampin' Up. That was a, that was a, um, a kit that Stampin' Up um, gave us. Well, they didn't give it to us. We bought it. <laughs> it was available for sale. So here we have a, um, we have some, you can do all kinds of heat embossing here. We've got a heat embossing station. Here's all the embossing folders. And again, here are more boards to give people lots of ideas. They can take pictures get lots of ideas and we have a couple of big shots here and then i usually bring the stamps and dies that are the most recent and also the kind of the ones that people are going to use like the layering circles i mean they're kind of you always need those the stylish shapes so these are for our retreat guests to borrow and then here are all of the current inks and the refills and the markers 
Again, that's all for our treat, treat guests to borrow. Look at that selection of punches. Again, I don't, I mean, I even have more punches at home, but I bring the ones I think people are gonna use. Like this is fall retreat. So I'm thinking they might use the cat. <laughs> they might use the stars. Um, they might use the Christmas trees. I probably wouldn't bring this to the summer retreat. And, uh, and then there is um, my in color display. So let me show you as we proceed here. Hey, I'm glad you're here with us, Margaret, from Virginia. Um, here is our prize patrol wheel. So you get to spin the wheel, and then based on where you land, you're either going to get to pick from a pack of five handmade cards, an embellishment, some paper, and the paper might be like designer paper. It might be envelopes, lots of different things. Um, so let me show you what it looks like. Um, let me give you a good example of when people come in. Uh, let me see if there's one that, here's some more where Elaine has brought this beautiful arrangement to brighten things up for us. My station has a ton of stuff I'm still unpacking. Well, let me show you Elaine's. This is a pretty, hers is always neat and tidy. So she has, look, now this is, this is Elaine right here to a T. You see that? We have little fairy lights. And, um, oh, <laughs> we will take that aside. Look at the beautiful nameplates she did for us. I think these are exquisite. So everybody has a nameplate, and let me just grab this one over here and show you. So these are done with the Rustic Harvest, I think it's called Rustic Harvest dies. And then you see these little guys up here? These are some little clay pieces that my granddaughter makes for my retreats. And these are just, they're little chalkboards, and look how Elaine has just done them so beautifully. And we made them in such a way that if people wanted to lift their little name off here and use it for something else they could so the name plates are exquisite and they're pretty on the back as well as on the front um, we typically have a cookie our cookie lady is becky perez she does amazing work for us here is our um, agenda and this is a make and take packet for the thursday people thursday is an extra day so if you come in on thursday you get an extra set of make and takes so let me show you, here is, um, this is Terry and she's not here. So, so let me show you. So here's the bag. We typically have a retreat bag and um, they're different each time. And I love, love, love this bag. It's really beautiful. It folds down. So it's really gonna be a great bag for traveling. Um, whether you're traveling like, on, sorry, on vacation somewhere or whether you're traveling like to a retreat. Um, so let me show you what our retreat guests get in their bag. So they get the, um, the Rustic Harvest paper. And let's see. They get a silicone craft sheet. Everybody should have at least two. <laughs> then they get these um, leaf and gem packet. And they get some black dimensionals. You know, we have a lot of scrapbookers who come. So I always try to be mindful of making a, a kit of goodies that are going to be use, useful for any kind of paper crafter. Um, we also gave them a six by six pack of this really fun metallic paper. And then this is their set of make and takes, which I will show you in a minute. Now they get a PDF tutorial that's going to give them all of these make and takes plus the add-on classes. So we have several add-on classes and they get the, they, whether they take the add-on classes and actually do the class or not, they get the tutorial. So we like to give our retreat guests a really full package of goodness. Now I'm going to bring you over here and show you, this is a small pod this time. So let me just, uh, so this is where Paulina is going to be sitting. She's coming in tomorrow. This is where Barbara's sitting. Barbara came in from California. So even though we're in Texas, we have, usually have several people from out of state. And um, I'm just going to show you Blanca's station. So Blanca is our, she is our cricket queen. So she's actually teaching an add-on class. And everybody's going to learn to use their Cricut. She has like a 14-page PDF for them. This is the bag they're going to be making. But with regular glitter. But with, it's not, they get to choose the color that they're going to put on here. And she's going to walk them through exactly how to do it. She's got a little, vision, you know, she's got like a little screen to show them exactly how to do it on the computer. So 
really exciting stuff. Now, now this is team spirit right here, ladies. These are the llamas. This whole group of crafters here are the llamas. And look at that. Is that team spirit or what? So this is a group of mostly, mostly um, scrapbookers. They do some card making as well. And you can see, look at the setups. I think part of what we love to do at retreat is see what, not just being nosy, but we learn from each other by each other's setups, you know? You look at, yeah, yeah I'll be happy to be nosy as well. Um, but yeah, we like to see, and see different, some of the pods of tables will bring little gifts for their friends. And let me show you Mary's spot. This is beautiful. Mary's first time, look, look at this. She's made it look like home. Look what she's brought. She's brought this beautiful lamp from home and look at this, I never would have thought to do this. Look how just this little, little addition makes it look Halloween-y. And look at how, look at, she's even got M&Ms on her table free for the taking. I don't know if I could, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they wouldn't last very long. You want to say hi, Mary? Hi. So here's Mary. This is her first time, so we're really excited to have her. And I just love her setup. So look at there. She's powering through some cards, and this is her little basket of stuff she's going to be working on. So yeah, just kind of give you an idea of different things that people work on when they are here at Creative Escape. So yeah, Lena is, um, she's commenting and she's going to be here for, um, for Blanca's class. So this is Teresa. She's going to be teaching one of our add-on classes for Tiny Treats. And she has got quite the setup here. Oh, look at there. Cute Christmas cards. Let's see what she's doing. Oh my, that's very cute. Ah, oh, see, she's making her Christmas cards. There you go. Getting ahead of the game, and that's what we like to do. So let me show you our make and take station. So as um, as promised, this is the uh, this is the set of make and takes that our Thursday people get, and I t oftentimes feature something that's retired for that. And people love to uh, get ideas on how to use things that they already have in their stash. And then this is the make and takes for the you know, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday retreat. So there are five different cards here, sorry. And then there's two different, there's a little gift card holder here and then there is a little treat holder there. So they get everything they need. So basically a free class for them. And let me show you the snack table and then we are going to do a little stamping. Okay. So here's our water station and then we have a carrying machine and we have a kettle for hot tea, and then people bring lots of different snacks. And this is the first day, we have about two thirds of our people here. We will fill up completely tomorrow. And uh, there were homemade cupcakes and muffins in here. They are just about gone. And the veggie tray is, well, look, that's, I'm, I'm impressed. That was my lunch and uh, lots of goodies. So here we go. Hopefully I'm not gonna make you seasick we are going to come over here and we are going to do a little stamping. So, let's see, I'm in a different tripod than what I use at home and hopefully I will be able to get us set up here in such a way that you don't feel seasick and then I can actually stamp something with you. Okay, here we go. Now, we are going to get my computer going here to make sure I'm seeing what you're seeing and that we are in the camera. That's the main thing is that we are, what I'm gonna show you is actually in the camera. That's kind of important. So I haven't even gotten to really see. Um, oh yeah, we are in camera. Okay, good, good. Okay, oh, Michelle's here. And Susan, hello there, and Lena. Okay, so I did post a photo, a couple of photos right before I came on because I was actually having dinner in the dining room with my hubby. We live locally here. My husband hates to eat dinner by himself, so he was, he comes up here and eats dinner with me. And you can see in the back there, there's the bartender because you know they give you three free adult beverages with your dinner. So you have a glass of wine or a cocktail or something, which is really nice that that's included with our stay. So, okay, here we go. Am I seeing that on camera?
this is what we're going to use and this is the warm welcome bundle so this was released for world card making day this is a pre-release so this is going to be in the spring catalog otherwise known as january to june mini catalog and this is a photopolymer stamp set lots of fun things and then the dies I like to put a little um, a piece of magnet sheet here on the inside of my stamp set and then I can just pop the magnets if they fit now if they if I need two sheets then I'll make their own they get their own little um, they get their own little um, container so we are going to make a card now I will tell you that we use this for my monthly meeting make and takes for my team and I have four really cute samples of this and of course they got left at home today but the prize I'm going to give away for, with a drawing tonight for people who shared the video last week is the set of make and takes for this class so there were, there's four make and takes everything is prepped and ready to go you just get to stamp and assemble so as always if you don't have this stamp set you can use something that you have on hand but I do think this is a stamp set that has a lot of possibilities and is a good one for you to have in your um, collection. So let's see what we're going to do. Now I've got my mini cut and emboss because uh, number one, I have, well, I have it here for my retreat guests, but all of the dies here go into the mini cut and emboss. And this is also one of our million dollar achievers. So this is Jenny Pauli who is one of our German demonstrators. And the inspiration here is she loves to have people into her home. She loves to have people to come over and spend time with her. So I love the fact that you can do, you know, welcome little ones, you can do a baby car. This is a really cute image here with the coffee and tea mug. Um, there's, there's another one for, you know, the littles. Although that could be a family. Knowing you feels like coming home. I love that sentiment. That's a really nice one. Let's spend time together is the one I'm going to use tonight. And this, my door is always open for you. I really like that. Um, and then, of course, you could be bringing some flowers. And then you have, yay, hello, it's your day, open mind, open heart, open house. Lots of good things. So, let's get started. Now, I don't know, I felt like I had been kind of neglecting my end colors. Maybe because I've been doing so much Christmas. And so I wanted to use Sweet Sorbet. And this is where I started for tonight. So this is my trusty little um, color coach. And, you know, Stampin' Up! provides these. And I link them from time to time here on my Sweet Stamper page. I will link it again. But I cut these up and put them on rings. This is just the way I like to do them. They come on a sheet. You know, it's a, it's a download. And you just, you know, print it and cut it out. But I just find this is handy for me because then I can kind of flip through them easily. And so I'm kind of going with these colors right here. Uh, because, you know, although there's a set of three, you can kind of mix and match these to get a really cool color scheme. So I'm going to start with, uh, I have no idea where I'm going to, well, I have a little idea where I'm going to go. I haven't made this card before, so we'll see what we get on. That's kind of the way I like to stamp with you guys. So this is a, a half sheet of Sweet Sorbet. It's a really kind of a softer red. It's like a lighter shade of Poppy Parade. And so some of the colors that go nicely with it, I love Cherry Cobbler with it. So I really want kind of a Christmassy look. I want to make a card that is not Christmas card, but kind of goes with the season. So you can see where I'm going here. Um, now I could put in a little bit of pink. Now I don't want to do that. Um, I could put a little bit of pool party in here. I think that might look good. And then, I don't know whether I'm gonna use this or not. This is a piece of designer series paper that might be kind of fun. It's actually from the uh, Butterfly Kisses. So I might do that. Thank you for sharing, ladies. I see that Margaret and Susan have already shared, and that's how you get into the drawing, is you write down there that you have shared it. Now, I'm gonna use one of these neutrals for my door. So let's start with the basic colors I'm gonna use, and I'm either going to use um, gray granite, that looks pretty good together, because these are warm colors, or I'm going to use um, crumb cake that looks really good I think I probably like that better or I could go a little darker and I could use soft suede 
and that's really nice too. I think it's a little bit dark, so I think I'm gonna try it with this. And let's see what we can come up with as we build a card. We've got some blends over here because we're gonna do a little bit of, I know we're gonna make the kitty cat, not even have a color here for the kitty cat. So maybe we'll just do the kitty cat in soft suede. Um, do I need that? No, okay. Now I don't even have my, um, my little mat, my piercing mat. So I'm just gonna use this little pad of paper and I'm gonna put my, um, I'm gonna put my cardstock there. And I'm actually just gonna use a black pad on everything. And this is how you do a simple card is use limited supplies. So at least that's the way I do a simple card. So this is just a quarter sheet of crumb cake cardstock. Make sure that I'm in camera. There we go. And let's see. Really cool, isn't it? That door is opening. So now we move these out of the way. I'm not even totally sure how we're gonna use all these colors, but let's see how we get on. So, and I think let's go ahead and cut the kitty cat out. Stamp the kitty cat so we can cut him out. Here he is. So I'm gonna use another little piece over here. So let's have a little brown kitty. Oh no, I was gonna use this. Let's do a little soft suede kitty. There we go. He's gonna be cute. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's start with the door. That's gonna be kind of the main focal point. But we're gonna dress up this door scene and we're gonna do some fun things with it. So, whoopsie, I've got cutting plates coming everywhere. Oh, and that's gonna to be too big. Cutting plates on the floor. Okay. So this clearly is gonna to need to be trimmed. So, huh, I got that a little bit too wide. Probably should have gone the other direction. So let's cut this like so. And then we can just go the other direction. Okay, here we go. That's better. Okay, so we have cutting plate here. Cutting plate here door here, door die here, and that, I know that when I've done, I've made several of these doors, and I have to say that this die is super easy to line up. Now, having said that, I don't have any washi tape here, not with me, not over here, and I don't have any post-it notes with me, so Let's see if Candy can do it without shifting. Haha, ha, I think we're gonna make it. So this is where this little mini cut and emboss really comes in handy. If you do not yet have a die cutting machine, the mini is the perfect way to start. It's only $60 and right now you can purchase the starter kit. You can choose $155, whatever you want and only pay $99 plus tax. So that's pretty nifty. So there is my door. Now, where did my card front go? See, it doesn't matter how much room I have, I just kind of morph into it all. Here we go. So that's, you know, you can kind of get a little idea of where we're heading. Now, let's put this back so I don't lose it. Or at least we'll put it here, there we go, that fits nicely. Now, let's do, oh, I think this goes this, no, it goes, it does go this way, there we go. Um, I think what I wanna do is, let's do the kitty, and I might just put a little piece right across there. So let's see what we can do with kitty cat. We're gonna cut him out with the die cutting machine. And, oh, let's see, there we go. And I think I want this to go at, let me just make like a little bit of ground there. 
That's what I think I want to do. So y'all are just getting to kind of create with me. Like I said, I've made four cards with this so far and just played a little bit, not much. So we're kind of, you know, when you have a new set, you just kind of have to play a little bit before, I think a lot of times before you decide what you actually want to create with it. So let's get our plates again right here. Move the trash over here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can make our little kitty. Let's put this underneath us. There's that little kitty, and here are the kitties. That's how we're gonna cut that kitty out. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is brilliant because I don't have to fussy cut that cat. That would be a little bit too detailed for me to fussy cut, so I like it that way. Okay, let's see how he's gonna come out. And then we're gonna do all of our stamping at once because we're gonna then we're gonna just kind of play and see. Oh, we shifted a little bit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just trim that a little bit. Okay, so this is gonna go in here. Now, Candy's being really good because she's on camera, and I'm putting that away. Honestly, those little dies are really easy um, to lose, and I don't want to lose them, so I'm just kind of making sure that it stays where I want it to stay. Now, the inside of my door, I was thinking about creating another color there. I don't know if I want to do it or not, so let's just take a little piece of white and see what we want to do. Anybody still here with me? Yay, okay. Uh, let's try a little piece of white. And let's see if. Okay, just making sure I'm still here with everybody. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let's do a little bit of white, like so. Helps if you get it in the trimmer can. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the flowers. And here's my trusty little pad. So let's stamp the flowers. And I'm going to stamp my greeting. Well, I might stamp the greeting right on the paper. Let's see. So let's stamp the flowers here. Because I'm wanting this to be like, let's get together during the holidays. That's kind of the, the, uh, the vibe I'm wanting to do here. And I'm just gonna do like that. And let's pop this in here. Let's see if I can line this one up a little bit better. And let's put this here, like so. And isn't that cute? The arm is going to be coming kind of around the corner into my little doorway and bringing some flowers. I will say I love fresh flowers. Um, we had on Sunday Pastor Appreciation Month is October, and on Sunday, our congregation was totally unexpected. I totally forgot even that it was Pastor Appreciation Month, but they presented us with a lovely bouquet of flowers that I've been enjoying all week, as well as a gift card. And you know what? That shifted a little bit again. Yikes. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again, because I don't want to have to cut that out again, but let's just try both of these again. I know I've put this away, but we're going to just do it properly. So, you know, it's okay. We're going to pop that guy there. And we are going to do the flowers again. Because I've got some really pretty colors over here for my flowers. And, you know, sometimes with these dyes, you just kind of have, they're really tight. They, and what I mean by that is they cut closely to the stamped image. And that's actually a really good thing, but sometimes you kind of have to kind of have to learn where that is going to land. Sometimes it seems like it's really, really close. Sometimes it gets a little bit farther out than you think. 
So let's just trim that off like so. I have the old fashioned trimmer called my fingers. And where is, there's the die right underneath me. And I'm just gonna run this through and my kitty through at the same time. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it a little bit better. Okay, I think I got it too close on the right. Okay. And you know what I realize? It's because I'm sitting and I'm looking. You know, when you sit, when you stand above it, you get a better, uh, a more accurate placement. So let's bring the kitty back out. I think that's why I figured out what I did wrong. It's because I'm sitting. And that, I will say, you know, usually at home, I stand when I stand. And I stand when I die cut. Because you do, when you stand, when you're looking over the top of it, you actually get a more accurate view. When you're kind of on the, see, I'm down here. And so when I'm looking, um, it's kind of skewing um, my placement. So another top tip from Candy, Sweet Stamper. You know the reason I have my sweet stamper is my online moniker. It's all my life I've had people say, Candy, oh, that's a cute name. Do you spell it with a C or a K? Is it with a Y or an IE at the end? And I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to be sweet stamper, and that way people will know. Hopefully they will associate Candy with sweet. And my... My parents named me aptly. I absolutely adore candy of any kind. I love homemade candy. Oh, during the holidays, I love fudge. Golly, I wish before she passed I had gotten her recipe, but my father's mother made beautiful divinity. Oh, divinity was wonderful. And uh, I make really good chocolate fudge. And I also, I don't make it very often. I love panucci. Some of you older folks, like me might know panucci it's a really old-fashioned candy i absolutely love it it is to die for now this is going to be the inside of my door frame or doorway we'll see whether we're going to use this or not and then i also thought about using that yellow i thought that might be kind of fun to look inside but we'll see let's just build a little bit and see where we come on hopefully i'm not going to lose I know I'm going a little longer than usual. Hopefully I'm not gonna lose my battery. I juiced up my phone battery, which is how I'm filming before I started. Okay. Now, all the dies are in here. They are in here and accounted for, which is important because I don't wanna lose them. And now we're just gonna play a little bit and see what we come up with for this card. Okay. Well, before I do that, I actually need to color my flowers, so. This is my better ones over here. This is my this is my second try. These. So let's use them. And see this little guy right here? This will go right there if I want it to. I kind of like that. It really brightens things up, doesn't it? Okay, so there's my kitty. Now, let's see. Because I want this to be kind of a holiday look, now this is dark sweet sorbet and I like it. I think that is going to be just the ticket for these little, these are going to be really cheery little flowers and I'm going to do most of them in sweet sorbet but I'm going to do a little, I want a little bit of a contrast so I think I might put in one or two yellow ones just to give it a little bit of brightness, even though they actually don't have any yellows here. But I think we're just gonna kind of live dangerously and see how we come out. Now, I do want to put some green. Now, Mossy Meadow is here, and I didn't actually didn't bring my Mossy Meadow. These are here because these are part of our make and take. So I'm gonna use the dark olive. And that's actually pretty close to Mossy Meadow right there for my little flower uh, leaves and then let's see let's do a little splash of yellow this is dark um, um, daffodil delight and you know we don't have crushed curd blends but this dark daffodil delight for all practical purposes it's pretty much crushed curry so there we go and let's see 
Oh, I have some Panucci fans. Ah, oh, yes. Takes you right back, doesn't it? I mean, it's just glorious stuff. Okay, let's see. I am going to take light pumpkin pie. Let's see how this would look on that sleeve. I think that might look pretty good. Let's do the sleeve in light pumpkin pie. Let's see how this is going to look. Oh yeah, see how that's coming along? Very nicely. Now I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any neutrals here to do around that little bag of or the little paper around there, but I think it's okay. So if I kind of do like this and then maybe put the ground like this, like you're opening up the front porch. That's kind of the way I'm wanting it to look. Now I am gonna do one more thing here before I start putting things together. And I don't honestly have the embellishments with me or anything for this. So we're just gonna kinda, of, we're gonna do a stamp sync and paper card and make it really fancy with all the cool dies. Or maybe not fancy, maybe fancy is not the word I wanna use, but make it a little bit extra. Now, do I wanna add this in here? No, that's way too much. Now I could add a little piece down here. Let me think about a little strip. But I also want to consider putting a layer of cherry cobbler under there. So let me just kind of cut a few pieces and see, because I think that I can put my um, greeting, stamp it directly on the card front. And I think that that's gonna be pretty cute. So, you know, having said, talked about Panucci and Divinity, let's see how many people on here are gonna end up making Panucci this year. <laughs> um, you know, we've already been talking in my household because um, we do a lot of really healthy eating. Uh, having said that, we're all foodies, so we like healthy eating that's really, really flavorful. But we have been talking about what we are going, what we are willing to kind of um, go off of our typical program and enjoy the holidays. So we're kind of plotting and um, I can already tell you that Thanksgiving, my son is going to make a pumpkin cheesecake and it is to die for. So that is, um, and my husband is going to go off program to have a little bit of that. And then he asked, I'm gonna make him his gluten-free brownies and then he'll be happy. So <laughs> that's, his, that's his big going off is uh, having a little tiny bit of pumpkin, uh, pumpkin cheesecake. What do we think about this? I like that rich color there, but I might just do this. Oh, I think this is coming together nicely. And see, I can put my greeting right down here. What are we thinking? Do we like that white there? I think it looks pretty good. Hey, Sherry, I'm glad you're with us. I'm pretty late tonight. Oh, no, Margaret doesn't know what panucci is. Panucci basically is like a brown sugar fudge. It's like a vanilla fudge, but it's really like, it's where you brown the sugar, you brown the butter. And in fact, I think you use brown sugar instead of regular sugar in it. And then you typically have walnuts or pecans, um, which you need to break up because it's so sweet, but it is absolutely fabulous. Flavor-wise, it's a little tiny bit similar to pralines. So it's a Southern thing, I think. I'm not sure. That may not be correct. So what are we thinking, ladies and gentlemen? I think that's kind of cool. Do we, do we think that's too dark? The other thing I could do is I could add one more layer or I could switch this around and put the cherry cobbler behind and put this underneath so we could basically switch this. And this is how I just like to kind of play with it to see what we like better. No, I actually really like this cherry cobbler. I think that depth is really nice and I'm kind of digging it. And if we put this kind of here, and this here, and then we're going to put the greeting right down here, and I think we are going to have a cute little handmade card. And that's really the vibe I'm looking for. So somewhere here is oh, my black stamp pad. Oh, and you know what? I do have my Wink Stella over here. So that we could use. So let's take... Let's get to, let's spend time together. See, I'm wanting this to be, let's spend time together. This would be a great card to send to a friend. 
now to plan for a time to get together during December. Is that straight? I tell you, I'm not used to stamping from sitting down. I think I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna stand up <laughs> so I can get this straight. Ah. Oh, Margaret, I'm glad you like the cherry collar. I think it looks really good. I love it with Poppy Parade, so I figured it would look really good yeah. with um, with Sweet Sorbet. Hey, Jean, I'm glad you're with us from Wisconsin. I'll bet you it's cold in Wisconsin right now, although I don't know. Some of us are having kind of funky weather, so we are having a really nice cool snap, which I always love. So let's start putting this together. And we'll have a little wink of Stella here. And we're just going to layer this up and then we're gonna pop some things up on dimensionals. So I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. You know, I've been at four o'clock for a long time and I've decided to do, you know, once a week and do uh, evening, Thursday evenings. And this I was committing to for November. And then I think I'm gonna keep going with that with that schedule. But I, I love to hear feedback from you. So far, I've had a lot of positive feedback about the evening because I think it's more accept, accessible to a lot of folks. So this is just a little strip and this is the uh, Butterfly Kisses paper. But I think that that's kind of a nice little pop of color. It's This is crushed curry. And that's the color we kind of picked up in the flowers a little bit too, because these are really deep, rich colors and I love them, but you need a little, sometimes you need a little bit of brightness to a little pop of color to brighten things up. So there we go. Now this is gonna go right like that. I'm liking it. And this we're just going to stick down flat. The other thing about this warm welcome, I think is the name of this bundle, is, you know, like this little kitty cat and the gifts, you know, even, the, you don't have to use the door for everything, but I think the door has a lot of fun uh, possibilities. So Margaret, I'm glad that you found me too. It was, last week was our first time. And I'm so glad you found me because I am having fun interacting with you. And that's kind of what I like to do on my channel. I know one time somebody commented on my, because I download this to YouTube, and somebody commented and said, well, you know, this was, this was really good, but I, I don't want to listen to, you know, a demonstrator talk to her audience. And I said, you know, I really appreciate that feedback. And there's a, there's a number of demonstrators who don't. So I think that you'll probably find a better fit somewhere else that I like to talk to my people. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. When I was growing up, it was, you know, if you can't say something nice, just don't say anything. But that seems to be a little bit lost these days. So you see how that looks like there's a person who is standing around the corner and bringing the flowers. Now, it looks really cute just like that. However, I think the kitty kind of takes it over the top. So let's see where we're gonna have the kitty. I think we're gonna have the kitty right here. So the kitty comes out to meet you because I know when I open my door, now my Roscoe is my Welsh Corgi, my very senior Welsh Corgi, um, he likes to come to the door. Now he has, I mean, Roscoe was a rescue, he ha but he has impeccable manners. He never jumps on anybody. He doesn't get in your face. And when he comes to the, he comes to the door, he just greets you. He just, he waits for you to pet him. But he has very good manners, which, we're very blessed. I've always said he's like the perfect pastor's dog because he'll let you in the door and he will be friendly with you, but he won't be in your face. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna put a little wink of Stella on my flowers and that is a wrap. I mean, this is just a super simple card. And I think that this is a card to send somebody to say, hey, let's do something during the holidays. And I think, Maybe it's because of my age and the things I've encountered, but I have to say that I have a number of friends who have become widows either recently or they've been widowed for a while. And I think the, all, the holidays can be a little bit poignant and not even just, um, not even widows, but one of my dearest friends, in fact, my 
my friend who introduced me to Stampin' Up, she lost her husband just a few weeks ago. So this right here would be just the card to send to her. And um, I have a friend here and she lost her son, um, her only child, about 18 months ago. And the holidays are, are poignant. You know, when you've had, when you've suffered loss, I think particularly when somebody dies during the holidays, but actually when you've suffered loss, the holidays, it's the time when you typically gather with your family. And so if that family member's not there anymore, it can be a really, a bittersweet time. It can be a bit poignant. And so these are the kind of cards I like to share with people who um, might be having a little bit of a rough time during the holidays. So, um, I'm so glad you like the colors, Margaret. Yes, Jennifer is my admin here. She's helping me with the share drawings. And she said to please don't forget, you need to comment shared, which I've been seeing from several of you. Um, comment shared, and that way, uh, we will make sure that you get into the drawing for this next week. Now, next week, um, I'm gonna be featuring, I think, have my notes in front of me I think I'm yeah I'm pretty sure I'm featuring embossing folders and um, so I'm a, I actually have an embossing folder to give away next week but this week I'm giving away a set of four projects with the PDF tutorial for this bundle so I think that will, will be a good one um, let me see if I can go through here really really quick and find my you know what I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna post right after we're done because I haven't actually done my drawing yet right after we're done I'm gonna draw from last week and I will share that I will share the winner of the drawing and um, and Jennifer is as my admin for this she actually came to my house I've already given her the prizes for all the rest of November or, sorry October we're not even in November yet <laughs> Um, I've given her all the prizes. She's going to mail them out for me, and um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So, again, I love to hear your feedback. So, let me know what you're thinking about my giveaways and about my 7 o'clock time slot. And um, if you ever have uh, some kind of a request, I would love to hear it. Yes, um, Oh, that was, I, was gonna, I saw somebody's comment. I was going to reply to it. It was from three days ago. So I guess I will not comment on that right now. So that is it for tonight here live from Creative Escape Fall Retreat. This is Candy Rattray from SweetStamper.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget that if you share and you comment that you shared, you will be in the drawing for next week's or, yeah, the prize coming up next the prize I give away next week. And um, so you have time. Like if you only watch the replay, that's okay. If you say shared, I you will still go into the drawing. And that's up until the night before. So I've got to go from this and do a drawing real quick. And that is a wrap. Don't forget that if you are on um, here on Facebook to like my page so that you will get notifications when I go live and when I post and if you are watching on YouTube I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you will hit that subscribe button that helps me ever so much that's it for today I will see you next week and I'll be posting hopefully every day between now and then take care and God bless